hello again. Good to see you. Hopefully you've been learning a lot of great things about uh, faith development and uh, how to teach the faith and share the faith with young people. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what it is to, or some tips for tackling that faith development with young people and some key lessons I've learned in working with the high school students I have for the past 18 years. The first thing is that students come or people come to these programs or to your, to your classes with different levels of faith. And I found that some come really seeking and wanting to grow in their faith. Maybe some don't have a very strong faith. And there are some that have a really strong faith and can be witnesses to others. What I see ourselves doing is being like the sower in the parable, uh, sowing seeds. Some fall on rocky ground, some fall on fertile ground, some get choked out by the weeds. But not only are we sowing these seeds, but I think we are also responsible for providing fertile ground to our students. And I think that's accepting them where they are, walking with them on the journey. And so one is be aware that they all come up with different faith levels. And I think our job is just take them to the next step in their faith. How do we do that? We be the risen Christ to them. Just like Paul met Jesus on the road and was literally knocked off his ass, donkey, but literally knocked off his ass, we are called to, and again, I don't mean to use that word flippantly, but we are called to be the risen Christ to our students and to give them that encounter so that not only are they knocked down, but like their hearts are opened and they come to a new spiritual level or experience with God because that's where our faith is developed. Three, what do I have to do? I have to work really hard as a person to live the Beatitudes, to be merciful, to be a person who's compassionate, to in the classroom practice discipleship as Jesus did. Not everyone's going to be open to it. Not everyone's going to want to receive that right away. So I walk with them on the journey. Just like Jesus walked on the road to Emmaus, my job is to walk with them, break open the scriptures, describe their faith, and then hopefully they will allow me at the end or they will see the risen Christ in me. Remember, you're not the Messiah. We are just workers in the vineyard. As the prayer goes, it's attributed to Oscar Romero, we are not the master builder. We are workers in the vineyard, and so we take our gifts and talents in the ways that we know how and use them to teach the students. Now, again, there are many ways to do that, many different styles you can use. So use what you're comfortable with, but also be aware the students learn it in, in a unique way. So use the multiple intelligence theory. Use different pedagogy. Teach in a variety of ways so that they are also learning, and hopefully you are touching them through the variety of things that you are doing. Lastly, regardless of what you teach, what are the students going to remember? Hopefully they remember all the wonderful words you said, but they're going to remember who you are as a person. And so if you center yourself in Christ, if you are the risen Christ to them, if you take your faith and share your journey with them, they're going to remember who you are, they're going to have an encounter with the risen Christ, and be able to grow in their faith. And that's what I think the key is teaching is, is being Christ to them. Thank you.